Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Um, still a little bit under the weather, you know, still Karen and I still fighting this thing off. It, it, I went and got my Lyme treatment and and feeling a little bit better, but whatever this is, I'm just going to say I don't have the woo-woo flu, I don't think, anyway, but in case I drop off the face of the earth, <laughs> I've had this weird virus for about three weeks now. It's just not like anything I've ever had. I know a lot of people that are sick and under the weather at the same time. So maybe we all just got a mild case of the woo-woo flu and that'll make it go away. So, all right, today's video, uh, actually uh, the idea, I, I didn't really have a, a big idea to do, to talk about. And then so I asked Karen and she wanted me to talk about truth because she kind of had some interactions on Facebook. Maybe some of you have seen it. And so she wanted me to talk about Truth, and not just what truth means to ourselves, but the other flip side to accepting your own truth or figuring out your own truth is realizing that not everybody's going to like it, okay? So what do I mean? Well, I'll use a personal example. So from my previous marriage, uh, long story short, the nightly routine for many, many, many a year was to sit down sometime between 8 and 9 o'clock, have the kids pick out a movie or everybody pick out a movie and, and watch a movie until, you know, sometimes, you know, 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night got really late. And I'd get tired because I was, you know, working as well. And over the years, I kind of didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it, kind of wore on me, wore on me, until one day I just decided I could, I could no longer do it. My truth was no longer that I could keep doing this thing that I didn't want to do, right? So it was just, boop, I just cut it off like that's it. Not doing this anymore. You guys want to watch movies and, and stay up late and do, and, and, and do what you've been doing. I, I'm, not, I'm not participating anymore. So when that happened, everybody kind of was like, oh, well, well you know, you know why, why are you acting this way? Why are you doing this? And then and although I didn't say it at the time, the point I was making was this is my truth now. This is, this, I'm no longer this person that used to do these things with you guys. And I want to do something for myself a little bit more constructive than just sitting around every night watching a movie. You want to do it, that's fine. So I was able to determine my own truth. But at the same time, when you do that, you have to be ready for the consequences that... Not everybody is going to agree with you. Not everybody is going to like you putting your foot down, so to speak, about what you will or will not do any longer, especially if it's something that you've been doing for any length of time, and especially, obviously, if it involves friends, family, co-workers, etc. So that is something we don't really talk about that a whole lot in the book, but it is touched upon a little bit, which is living your truth. As far as law of attraction is concerned, is that it's much easier to manifest that you want when you're not doing things that you really don't want to do, or you're only doing things that are for the benefit of others, which in by itself is not a terrible thing to do. But when it comes at your own detriment, when you've become or when you've settled into this habit of doing things for others because you feel obligated somehow to do these things. But at the same time, doing those things now is to your detriment, whether it's emotional, physical, psychological, whatever, you know, whatever detriment it is, you're not going to be able to manifest the things that you want if you're consistently doing things that you do not want to do because your vibration is just going to be bouncing all over the place. You're going to send mixed signals out to the universe, and then you know, the universe is not going to be like, well, what do you want? you want this? that you're kind of thinking about, or do you want this thing that you're doing over here, you're flipping back and forth, you're not going to be able to manifest. So becoming aware of what your truth is, is a big part of manifesting, and at the same time, you have to be prepared for the reactions of others, whether it be something like I did, where you put your, fam you know, you put your foot down with, with your family, a dynamic that's not going to happen anymore, or maybe you change political views, or you know, you, you, you change, you know, your job or whatever the case may be, especially with friends too. A lot of times, you know, people grow out of relationships and, and you, you have a routine maybe with somebody that's been your friend for a year or more, you know, a couple of years or whatever. Then all of a sudden you just wake up and you're like, I, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. I, 
I'm not enjoying this anymore. And so you have to find a way to kind of get out of doing those things without really wanting to blow up the relationship and the friendship, but most times it will in, in one way or, you know, one form or another, standing your ground to your truth. It's going to cause waves in your relationships. So you have to be ready to handle those and it's not easy, okay? A lot of us will go back and forth on those things and that's, that's something you can watch on. If you're waffling back and forth between doing something and not doing it and taking action and not taking action, that's when it's time to sit, meditate, do what you need to do to get yourself into alignment, figure out, okay, what is my truth? What do I want to do if I remove everybody else? If I remove the emotions of what I think these people are going to say and what this person is going to do and however everybody else is going to react, remove those dynamics and just think, what do I want to do myself if nobody else was involved? That's your truth. That's what you're going to have to stick to overwhelmingly the majority of the time. Obviously, in relationships, especially family, we all end up negotiating things here or there. But overall, if you want to manifest the things that you want, you've got to be in alignment. To be in alignment, you have to be living your truth as close to it as possible. So, all right, that is enough for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please share them on Facebook, retreat them on Twitter when you see them. I'd, I'd like to get a little bit more uh, action going. I know I have a few people that have been pretty much watching uh, almost every video and you guys are commenting and interacting and I really, really appreciate that. I'd like to see that grow a little bit. So please, if you guys enjoy that I'm taking the time to do this every day and you are enjoying the message, please just feel free to share it to whatever social media platform that you feel fit. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again on Monday.